Ring, the makers of a massive amount of smart home security and surveillance gadgets, has launched a new video doorbell. The Ring Video Doorbell Wired here is being touted as Ring's smallest and most affordable video doorbell, now putting it in reach of many more customers who want to keep an eye on their Amazon packages. Now with a dedicated wired design that lets you replace an old school ding dong doorbell and not need to worry about recharging batteries, there are quite a few good reasons to consider adding a video doorbell to your home. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com and you might be wondering why add a Ring Video Doorbell wired and what's the installation process all about since it does involve dealing with wiring. Ring Video Doorbell Wired is much smaller than other battery-enabled Ring doorbells. That's because this design eliminates the battery entirely since your doorbell is hardwired to your home and that's where it gets its power. This allows Ring to design a doorbell that's much slimmer with a smaller profile than its other video doorbells, meaning it fits more easily on the trim around your door where many of us have older doorbells wired now. If you're thinking, wiring, I'm not going to do that, the truth is you can do that. Doorbells usually use very low voltage wires and once you turn the power off of the breaker panel it's actually really easy to connect a new doorbell since it's almost always just two simple wires. Having installed several video doorbells in the past few years thanks to my work as a tech and smart home writer I can definitely say this is not a hard job. You do need to know that your existing wiring is connected and functioning so from here on in I'm going to assume you already have a working basic doorbell. I'm also going to assume you've already visited Ring's website to check if your existing setup and wiring is compatible with the product. So step one, turn off the power at the breaker. Depending on how diligent and organized you and or your electrician are, you may already know exactly which breaker shuts off your doorbell, but then if you don't, it might take some trial and error to figure it out. But either way, ensure the power is off. Your doorbell should not ring when you hit the doorbell button if the correct breaker is switched off. Step two, prep for your new chime. You'll be bypassing your old doorbell's bell or chime with the new Ring Video Doorbell wired. So find the Ring Jumper Cable, which will be how we bypass and disable your existing doorbell chime. It needs to be installed before you install your Ring Video Doorbell. Next up, find your old chime and remove the cover and they usually pull off fairly easily. Step three, connect to the ring jumper. You'll loosen the front and trans terminal screws on your chime, but make sure to keep the existing doorbell wires in place. You'll be looping in the new jumper together with these old wires under those screw heads. Connect one end of the jumper cable to the front terminal and the other to the trans terminal. It doesn't actually matter which wire you connect to which terminal. Then retighten those screws and pop the cover back on. Step four, uninstall your old doorbell. Now it's time to head outside for the fun part. Unscrew the old bell button from the wall or the trim or wherever you've got it installed and gently pull it out. You'll disconnect the wires from the two terminals at the back of the bell, but before you do that, make sure your wires aren't so short they could fall back into the wall. If you're worried, do something like grab a bit of tape and tape them to the wall or you can tie a pen or some string to them. Ring helpfully includes wire extenders in the package too if yours are actually too short to work with. Next up, ready your new Ring Video Doorbell Wired. Gently pull the faceplate off the Ring Wired by pulling it from the lower edge of the plate. Using your Ring Doorbell Base as a template, mark the location of the two mounting holes on the wall. Connect your doorbell wires next. Loop one doorbell wire around each of the screw terminals on the rear of your Ring Video Doorbell and tighten the terminals to hold the wires tightly. Next, affix the base. Depending on what you're screwing into, you may need to install some wall anchors. On stucco, brick, or concrete, use a quarter inch or six millimeter masonry bit to drill holes in your wall, then insert the included wall anchors. If you're installing on wood or siding, you can skip that step. Hold off on reattaching the faceplate though until you've checked the connection. All right, next thing you get to do is turn the power back on at the breaker switch and then go outside and take a look at the doorbell. Now it might take a moment for your ring doorbell to power on, but you should see it light up and hear it start talking. Then you can reattach that faceplate. Now it's on to setting up your Ring Video Doorbell Wired using the Ring app. And the rest of the setup happens on your smartphone using Ring's super easy to navigate app. Here you'll go to the hamburger menu in the top left corner and choose set up a device. The app will take you through the rest in minutes and you'll be connected and online. 
A video doorbell is a great addition to your home because it allows you to monitor deliveries, keep an eye on the family's comings and goings, and provide an added layer of security to your home. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please do hit that like button and I hope you'll subscribe to the channel. It really does help me make more videos that I hope everyone out there gets to watch, enjoy, and learn from. I'm Erin. Thanks so much for watching. Until the next time, you can find me on either Twitter or Instagram. I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also always reach me through Facebook at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.